All right, next up, we've got Arizona State, Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State Cowboys, 11-point uh, home favorites here, 57.5 the total uh, in this game. You know, Arizona State, to me, is not a team I'm looking to back. Uh, last week, they played Northern Arizona. They did win and cover 40-3. to They looked very impressive, especially on defense. They completely shut down Northern Arizona, held them to 120 total yards. They actually might have a pretty decent uh, defense this year, Arizona State. I'm still not totally sold on the passing ability of Emory Jones, uh, the Florida transfer at quarterback for Arizona State. But, you know, he was efficient. He wasn't asked to do much, but 13 of 18, 152 yards last week. They did get uh, Xavion Valaday from Wyoming. Nice running back transfer there, and he had 116 rushing yards. So they have some pieces on the skill position talent uh, levels, but I'm not ready to trust them yet on the road now uh, against Oklahoma State that I think there's value with Oklahoma State here laying 11 and I cashed a ticket last week with central Michigan plus the points against Oklahoma state. And it was a very, very fortuitous. I would even say a fraudulent point spread cover that I didn't deserve with central Michigan. That game was over. It was like 51 15 for Oklahoma state. And they just shut everything down, you know, and they just totally just sleepwalk the rest of the game. And then all of a sudden, uh, Daniel Richardson and the Central Michigan offense are moving the ball against the Oklahoma State backups, and, and all of a sudden they get the backdoor cover and they uh, lose that game by less than 20, uh, and they end up covering the number. It's one of those games where it's they're going to make they're going to make Oklahoma State maybe a shorter favorite in this game because of that game being closer than it really should have last week against Central Michigan because they were in control. That offense with Spencer Sanders, Connor, it looked great. It really did. I mean, early in that game, Central Michigan wasn't stopping them. I figured that this offense was going to be much better this year. Spencer Sanders' final year, make that jump maybe like a Kenny Pickett did last year and really show that in his final year he's going to have his best season yet. And I think this is going to be a challenge for Arizona State uh, on the offense or on their defense. But on the flip side, I still have my concerns about Oklahoma State's defense. I mean, couldn't have been any easier with the over either in that game, which I also had with Central and Oklahoma State last week. Game flew over the total with plenty of room to spare. That Oklahoma State defense is still a little bit shaky. They lose the great defensive coordinator, Jim Knowles, who's now at o Ohio State. And look at the, in one game, what Jim Knowles did for the Ohio State defense. Look at how much better it what looked in just one game against Notre Dame on Saturday. So that's a big loss to Oklahoma State that they had that great defensive coordinator, Jim Knowles, now at Ohio State. And they lost a ton of the personnel they had from that great Oklahoma State defense last year. And I think you can see that defense take a step back this year. So I'm leaning to the favorite. I'm leaning to the over here in this game with Arizona State and Oklahoma State. Connor, what do you think? Yeah, this is already, look, you know, moving to the over as well. I don't know, yeah, how much to make of Arizona state. And this is just not a good spot for them to go on the road here. And what about Oklahoma state? I mean, they just, they took the foot off the gas. So you talked about, and obviously if you add Michigan, uh, central Michigan, you cover there, they just let him score two or three touchdowns there in the fourth. Um, Spencer Sanders was good, but this is what I, I have a problem with him. Even though I lean Oklahoma state, I have a problem with Spencer Sanders lane, you know, double digits here. I lean them in Gundy. They've been very good against the number and at home. So that's my lean here because Arizona State's just been not a, not a very good road team, especially against the number. And I don't know what to make of them too much uh, with the Sun Devils. So I lean Oklahoma State, but this is a pass for me earlier. here. 